Good morning and hallelujah. I pray that this message would find you blessed today and that you would be in good courage. I wanted to come today to talk to you. My name is Nicole Ray and this is a wow moment. And I wanted to just talk to you about the wow moment that I had with the Lord. Um, we're nearing the end of the year and we're getting ready to go into the beginning of the next year. And a lot of people at the beginning of the year will set New Year's resolutions and different things like that. And sometimes you achieve them, most of the time you don't. And so one of the things that God was really dealing with me about is planning to achieve the goals that you set forth. So taking real time to plan, what are you going to do? What are you trying to achieve? Praying and talking to God about the vision that he has for you in the coming year. And then really from that vision that God gives you about your life, taking that and then writing down some goals, some smart goals, things that you're able to actually be specific about, be able to measure. You understand? You want to be you want it to be things that you're able to be accountable to. It's very, very important that as we enter this new year that you take the time to encourage yourself because the enemy wants to take us out. Point blank period, the enemy wants to take us out. And when we fail to plan, we are planning to fail. The enemy is very strategic in the way that he attacks us. He's very strategic in, in the things that he does to keep us from our destiny. And so in order to reach the destiny and to reach the vision that God has for us, it's very, very critical that we take time to plan. So even right now, even though it's November, let's be honest, November and December are going to go by just like that. And then we're going to find ourselves in January and we're going to be wondering, wow, where did the time go? You don't want to wait till January to start planning. Now is the time to start praying and asking God, Lord, what do you want me to do in 2018? Father, what is the vision that you have for my life? And what do I need to do in 2018 in order to get me closer to that vision? Then you need to write down these goals first you need to excuse me first you need to write down the vision and then once you write down the vision you need to write down the goals that are associated with that vision you need to really take the time to think through what it is God is asking you to do and pray about it and look up scripture that goes along with those the, the vision that he's given you and then take time to think about the goals and what is it that you need to do what is it that you need to accomplish and then plan to accomplish them one of the things the Lord told me last year was that he wanted me to really reach the people. He had been telling me for years that he wanted me to write a book, but I never really took it seriously. But then I took it seriously. And at the end of 2016, I took the, the measures to plan out what it would take to write a book. And then I wrote it. And in 2017, as I'm leaving this year, I'm able to say that I have successfully written a book and that it will be published by the end of this year. And so it is a blessing and a wonderful thing when you take the time to search out the vision that God has for you and then take the time to write it out. In that book of two, it says, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. I will look to see what he will say to me and what answer I am to give this to this complaint. Now, what I want you to notice just in Habakkuk 2 verses 1, verse 1, is that he's standing watch and he's looking to see. Those are actions. You have to look for God. You have to seek him out. The Bible says, seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be opened. It is an action word. You have to do something. You have to seek him out. And when you seek him, you will find him. But there's the other part of the action, which is to stand watch, which means you can't just be doing a whole bunch of talking and not listening to God. You have to talk to God, but then you need to say la, pause, and listen to what it is that God is saying unto you, that you might be able to hear from him, that you might be able to collect his vision and not your own vision. Because let's be honest, we all have our own vision for the things that we want to accomplish next year. And it's usually based on the things that we didn't accomplish this year. But God may be saying, forget what you were trying to accomplish. I want you to accomplish something completely new. But we need to know what it is that God desires for us to accomplish. See, when we're trying to accomplish the things of God, God, God will strengthen us. He will put people in place. He will order our steps that we might achieve what it is he has designed for our lives. 
verse 2 of Habakkuk 2 says, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. I just talked to you about writing it down. When God gives you the vision, when God reveals to you what it is he wants for your life, you have to write it down. Writing it down does so many things. It one, helps you to retain it and to remember it. And two, if it's something that you need to share with somebody else, it makes it something that is easy to share. Number three, God sometimes, I won't say it's all the time, but sometimes he doesn't repeat himself. Or he may not say the same thing the same way he said it the last time. And if you didn't catch it the first time, you'll be sitting there wondering, what did he say the last time? No, write it down. When God gives you the vision, write it down and make it plain. It doesn't need to be thou said the Father, God, the Most High told me that in my, in the, no, it doesn't need to be all that. God told me to do this. God has this design for me. God wants me to operate in this fashion. And here's what you need to understand about the vision. The vision may not always be calling you to do something physical or produce something tangible. He may not be calling you to start a ministry or to write a book or to, to do anything. He might be calling you to do a character change. He might be calling you and saying you need to be silent. So we really need to look and seek out God to understand the vision he has for his life. Then it says in verse 3, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and it will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. When you are operating under a God-given vision, it is guaranteed to come true. Let me say that again. When you are operating under a God-given vision, the promise of God will ensure that it comes true. So you don't need to worry about having this or that or money to do this and that and the third. You don't need that. What you need is to trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. See, when he creates a vision, when he sets a path before you, your job is to write it down and follow the path. So I pray that you would be encouraged today. Be encouraged to follow the path for God that God has for your life. Be encouraged to seek his face, to find out what the vision is that he has for you in 2018. Be encouraged to write down your goals. Be encouraged to achieve your goals. God does not give you more than you can bear. And you can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives you strength. Be blessed. Amen.